So, uh, I finally got that haircut that I've been needing for a while. And in completely unrelated news, welcome back to Well That Sucks. We begin with number 19, was just trying to see if any good deals on PS5s out there. Free PS5, that's a pretty good deal. My boyfriend cheated on me. I'm giving away his old short. He doesn't deserve to have it back. If you want it, hit me up. If you're really serious, give me a call. I want it gone. Okay, first off, I'd probably just be skeptical. I'd be like, is this real? Am I gonna get mugged potentially here? But if it was real, then I'd also be torn because I'd be like, okay, am I gonna be on the hook for like taking stolen goods if this blows back, if the boyfriend press charges? Like even if in the court of public opinion, they were like, yeah, pretty justifiable actions given what's went on here. Like, could it come back? to bite me in the eyes of the law? I don't know, but in the amount of time that I've just thought back and forth on that, someone else is just free PS5, let me freaking get it, thank you very much. <laughs> so it's probably gone by now. So the landlord decided to lay concrete in front of my door without notice yesterday morning. Photo of kitty cat. He's interested in the concrete. So you stepped in wet concrete. See this, this sucks for everybody. Cause like you stepped in wet cement and now that's like a total mess of your shoe, but also the people laying the cement, they're like, Ugh. I don't even know what you do in that scenario. Do you have to just basically like jackhammer it back up? Or like, if it's still soft enough, you're just like, okay, well, gotta do it again. And then the landlord's out a bunch of money. So all in all, just really dumb. Like, why would you not go out of your way to let your tenant know that this is gonna be happening so they don't just walk out of the front door? There's another photo. See full size image. Where's the footprint? Did they fix it already? Like, there's clearly some wet cement on your shoe, but it's like, the, the walkway looks good. So I don't know what happened here. <laughs> like, did you dangle your foot out and then you caught yourself, but somehow cement, maybe that's just how your shoe looks regardless. I, I, I have no idea, but either way, they did a good job on the concrete. Our ceramic bowls have this weird white stuff growing on it. They have a smell and taste of metallic. I accidentally ate it along with rice. Weird white, weird white stuff, man? They have this weird white stuff on them? And a little bit of the black stuff too. The mold! Have you never seen mold? You're like, wow, my bowls are really fuzzy. I wonder how this happened. All right, let me go eat my rice. Yeah. What? Uh, it's on the outside. Like, how did you not? You, but, huh, how do you not realize it's all over? You just ate out of it. Weird wet stuff. What? <laughs> I could have gone through my entire life without ever seeing mold so that somehow when it appears on a bowl of mine, I don't think anything of it and I just eat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Somebody just left their AirPods in the train I'm in. Oops. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I feel like it'd be tough to actually leave them individually, right? Cause you know, once you take them out of your ears, you'd be like, I gotta do something with these. But yeah, I didn't think about leaving the case behind. See, this is an instance where it'd be really helpful to have something like a quality content zipper pockets, because they would allow you to put your AirPod case inside and then zip it up such that it wouldn't fall out of your pocket and be left behind. Problem solved. Just paid $10,000 to move into a brand new condo and all of my kitchen appliances broke within a week. <laughs> I relate to this because my dishwasher actually like just broke before leaving the old house. I was like, I made it eight years. And then like, right as I'm about to leave, I wake up in the morning after running the dishwasher and I just hear beep, beep, beep. I'm like, I haven't heard this before. This is strange. Try to like hit the buttons on the thing. I don't know, hold the start, stop uh, for, for 10 seconds. Nothing is happening. It's like not responding. It's just dead in the water with water like this. Like you have to turn it off of the breaker for it to shut up. And yeah, it was just dead. Try to actually get them to like replace parts on it. And the tech was like, yeah, no, it's, it's dead. You need a new dishwasher. So yeah, poor dishwasher, man. 
I didn't realize there was just water sitting in there too. So we opened it up after being closed for a few hot days and it was like all steamy. Ugh. Sold something on Facebook Marketplace. Lady asked if I have change. I gave $10. This is what she paid me. Film production. Now I'm assuming that you didn't realize this until you got home. And so she not only got the thing that you were selling, but also $10. Wow. That's like insult to injury right there. You're like, couldn't you just like stole the item from me? Did you have to also take $10 on top of that? Couldn't you just do one thing at a time? It's really inconsiderate of you to just like actually double dip here. All right, like kind of not cool. My sister got struck by lightning driving on the highway. This is beyond, well, that sucks. This, this is, I mean, thank goodness you're alive, actually. This is like, if you're if you're still chilling and you walked out of here without injury, then <laughs> I'm gonna count my lucky stars on that. Holy frick, the, like the, the car melted. It just, me like the car melted, it's just gone. It's just, and holy heck, dude. Did it fry the camera that was used to take this photo as well? <laughs> Or did this happen in like 2005 and that's the, you took it on a camera phone back then or something like that. Workmates made a birthday party to me at the office. They didn't realize I work the night shift. They ate and celebrated it without me. <laughs> Congratulations, happy birthday. Oh, they're not here yet. Oh yeah, I'm off work before they're actually gonna get here. I mean, we got this food so that we could eat it, right? Like. Not so that they could. I'm not gonna stay, I'm not gonna wait. Frick that, dude. I got video games to play at home. I'm not staying at work. All right, well, you know, we'll leave a couple cold things left for, for them to celebrate, you know, when they when they get here and happy birthday. They'll they'll appreciate the, the, the effort. Also, paraben, parabens? Isn't that like a, I thought parabens were like some kind of, are they like an ingredient? or something that's used in like manufacturing. Is that your name? I can't tell if that's your name or maybe it's for Benz. Maybe it's like Spanish. I have no idea. Dog ate my car. It's the evolution of the dog ate my homework excuse. Now, when you just don't make it to school at all, you say, I'm so sorry, um, dog ate my car. <laughs> But then in the age of technology, you'll have the receipts to back it up. What, did they just like take down a, what is, what is that? Is that a cable? I can't tell what they took out. Like, did they break the drive shaft? They didn't break the drive shaft. I, I can't, they didn't, they didn't break metal down from like suspension or something, did they? I must have an iron deficiency or something. Holy frick, dude, it's it's destroyed. If that's your dog, I guess you're just like, God freaking dang it. If it's someone else's dog, then, ooh, there's someone, there's someone who completely not related to eating cars, but there's someone who lives nearby who they every morning, they let their dog take a poo in the middle of the road. It's so consistent, it's unbelievable, and I've driven through it twice. And then I get home, and I get in the garage, and I'm like. Oh. And then I have to hold my breath, pull it out, spray it down with a hose. I'm like covering my eyes because I don't want dog pink eye to, to splash back when I'm washing the wheel arch and the tire. And it just keeps happening. This mother trucker, dude, just. Um, I've probably even talked about this in the last week, but I'm so mad because the, the poo was there again and I stepped a mound and I saw it again and I avoided it, but it, 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 smack in the middle. Who does this? The guy who I've seen walking two Rottweilers down the road from it, it's probably that guy, but I haven't caught him. I haven't caught him in the poo. So I have no concrete evidence, just soft serve evidence. God, anyway. My engagement ring broke. That is most unfortunate that it broke. Hopefully you can like solder it back together and then it, it can be good as new or you can take it to a foundry or hopefully there's warranty on the on jewelry. But yeah, if it was really expensive, you'd think that they'd probably wanna fix it 
or something like that. What's the rule supposed to be again on, like, an engagement ring? Is it like a month salary or is it three months salary or something crazy? Crazy, dude. That's wild to spend that much on a, on a ring. Oh, man. Anyway. My COVID project was growing a pineapple. It's been almost three years, was ripening, and an animal ate into it last night. Poor pineapple. Hopefully they grow again. I don't know much about actual pineapple plants, but I would assume that another one will happen eventually, but maybe just not super soon. And yeah, so here at the, at the new house, Kara has a garden thing and it's, Basically, like, the tomatoes are just doomed. There are deer, and the deer have gotten almost every single one of them. <laughs> now there's like, there's been like five anti-deer measures taken into this freaking garden. I think the latest one is actually working, but, oh yeah, they're, they're a menace. <laughs> and so by the time this is all done, it's like, oh wow, it's so it's so economical to grow d tomatoes yourself or uh, food and veggies at home. No, each tomato is gonna end up having cost like a hundred dollars probably <laughs> with everything that's gone into this planter thing, dude. <laughs> the most expensive tomatoes on the planet. Anyway, I, uh, Cara would empathize with your pain. I paid $50 to digitize a VHS tape of my wife at Disneyland when she was a baby. This is the only shot of her literally two seconds. The other 57 minutes are her dad filming the rides. I mean, blame her dad, I guess? <laughs> dad was like, heck yeah, rides. I love it. Engineering, is he like a mechanical engineer or something like that? He's like, I gotta, I gotta see what's going on, see how things are working behind the scenes, operations. Yeah, 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 it's cool. I know the family's gotta come along. It's freaking Disneyland, like I can't leave them behind, but but I gotta appreciate the engineering. Look at that ride. Look at that ride. How did they do that? That's so crazy. This is impressive. I love the mechanical engineering. Got scammed for all the money in my bank account. Good morning. Uh, Wells Fargo rewards, cash reward, checking, $2.04. If this, if this actually happened, like, I'm sorry, but also this is just a screenshot of an account with $2.04 in it. I feel like I could, I could go into my banking and just, you know, transfer an amount so that I have $2.04 in an account and then I could be like, I got scammed. I hope you didn't get, I hope, I hope that you didn't get scammed because it'd be better that you didn't get scammed. It's just like a screenshot on the internet. But if you did, then that's, that's a bummer. I'd, I'd like to hear more information. Maybe there's more information in, in the comments so that like we can all learn a valuable lesson about how to not have this happen. Uh, it's a, it's a lengthy one. Oh, is uh, is one of those? It's one of those messages, I guess, text messages in this case, or you know, email, where they're like, "Oh no, you, do you confirm the super duper expensive invoice or something like that? Make sure to log into your account to confirm that it's really you or something." And then you're like, "Yeah, you're not the bank, <laughs> but nice try." But they do it enough; it clearly works sometimes. TIL, I'm allergic to every tree. Below are the results of your allergy skin tests. <laughs> the provider will discuss the results with you. The provider's like, eh, we don't really need to. As you can see, don't go outside. You're better off inside in a sealed room with an air filtration unit to catch any of those wayward particles that work their way in. And you know, it's uh, uh, be, be more fun that way. So there you, there you go. <laughs> Bathroom mirror fell off the wall in my apartment. Does this mean my deposit is gone? Um, maybe, maybe not. I mean, if you clean up the glass, I guess it, there are a lot of factors here. Like we would need to know, okay, how much is your security deposit? How big is the mirror? What's the landlord think it's gonna cost to do a replacement? I can't imagine that the mirror, which is held up uh, clearly by like seven spots of poor adhesive with no screws, is gonna, I feel like it's not actually your fault though, because, well, I've never actually installed a mirror, but I would think that it would probably be a good idea to have some screw 
in the process somewhere, whether it's like the mirror might be adhered to something, but then that something is actually screwed into a stud, maybe if it's heavy, which a big mirror can certainly be heavy. So you might be able to argue this is not your fault because the mirror was there before and you're not responsible for, you know, the mirror staying on the wall. You're also not hanging things on the mirror to add more weight to it. So I don't think it's really your fault, but obviously most landlords are going to be like, yeah, you did this and coming out of your security deposit. So anyway, I'm not a lawyer though, but hopefully they understand. I know if I were, if I like owned the thing, I'd be like, yeah, it's not your fault. I can't imagine anything you did that caused the mirror to fall, but I don't know, a lot of people do suck. Dined out with my girlfriend to six years and the napkins came with an ad for mental health. She thought couples therapy might be a good idea. I disagreed. Result, a crazy argument and a breakup right there at the table. <clears throat> this, is, this is the company that does so many YouTube ads too. You'd watch the YouTube video <laughs> and and the freaking person had been like, this video brought to you by BetterHelp. <laughs> Would you have gotten into a breakup over the YouTube? You could have left a comment on the YouTube video like, thanks to your stupid sponsor. I just broke up with, oh no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing because that's sad. But also in the long term, right? It means, you know, it, it's probably for the better because you'll find someone who you won't break up with when you watch a YouTube video in the future be about, because of their sponsor slot. Oh no. This video is not brought to you by BetterHelp, but just imagine, just imagine if I was sponsored and they were a sponsor on this, the I, I actually probably wouldn't be able to post it. I had to cut the post out. <laughs> Ah, fun times, man. In Chicago for work, paying $65 a night for parking. Wake up ready to go to work. All my equipment is gone. Oh. Yeah, that that seems not super duper cool. That's a bummer. Dude, it just, oh man. I don't know, like it it seems like this happens to so many people and it's like, what, what you can't even, nothing ever happens. You call the police and the police are like, yeah, you're kind of, it is what it is, mate. And you're like, okay, but isn't this your job? Like, aren't you supposed to help with And they're like, eh, what do you, I don't, I don't have any evidence. So um, we don't really know where to go. And it's like, can't you fingerprint my car? And eh, I got to fingerprint the car unless it's like a pretty major crime here, not just your stuff getting taken. Hey, well, thanks guys, appreciate that one. Um, anyway, I guess I'll just leave my car unlocked from now on. And then you see, then you see posts from people who are like, I literally left my car unlocked because of this and they still broke my window. Did they even bother to try the door first? Like I left this here for you and you still broke the window. Why couldn't we just skip that part and you just could have gone in? Instead of breaking the window and then finding nothing, you could have just opened the door, found nothing, and been like, and they probably broke the window out of spite or something like that. Installed a lovely sunlight in my new bathroom without realizing it would perfectly frame that horrid tower. I don't know, it's kind of cool to have like the brutalist aesthetic just there. And then think someone who's working maintenance on it can see you bathe. <laughs> If you're an exhibitionist, if that's your thing, like, then there's that. Maybe that's the secret story behind this. But they're like, you know what? I could frame it differently, and then I could post it on, well, that sucks. You never know. <laughs> Girlfriend notified me today that I have been drinking mold for six months. Oh, oh, good. Oh, oh. Hey, you know what? Actually, this might be worse because it's six months, but I will say this is not looking as bad as the dude's bowl. So, you know, on the, on the plus side, at least you didn't do that. But also, I suppose if the dude with the bowl noticed this, I don't think the dude with the bowl would have thought twice. I also like, but a lot of people are drinking out of moldy water bottles to be completely honest with you, because like how many people give it a real deep cleaning scrub rinse? Even if you throw it in the dishwasher, I don't know, would it kill all the mold? Cause it's like, it's pretty, it gets pretty deep in there so i mean you made it six months and i'm assuming you you haven't had any like nagging health things you're not sure the source of so yeah you, your immune system's a little bit stronger now at least you're not the guy who ate out of the freaking fuzzy bowl <laughs> anyway that's it for the last month of well that sucks uh make sure to like the video subscribe and i'll see you next time